is Dex from my consult and today we'll be looking into creating groups for access right. So this means if you actually have a few salespeople with the same access right, you do not need to manually create each access right for each person. So all we just need to do in AutoCount is to create a user group called sales, right? So to do this, all we just need to do is come here to general maintenance, come here to user group maintenance, and then from here, we can actually see some of the preset groups, all right? So let's zoom in into say sales, come and double click inside here, all right? So from here, we already can see there are some preset settings already. So under invoicing here, under sales, so we already would be able to see under quotations. Okay, they can here, show, open, create, edit, view. So of course, most of the time, you do not allow users to actually delete a quotation, but we can maybe say, we can actually copy to a new quotation. Okay, all these are given access rights, all right? So that's actually how we actually can preset. So once all is done, we just press save, now it's time to actually assign the person or the user into this group all right to do this we just need to come here to general maintenance come here to user maintenance and then now you can see we have a few salesperson so let's say now example sales one i want to assign to this particular group so what we do is we select it press edit all right so then from here you see there's a user group all we just do is press plus and then we can say okay this one belongs to sales all right so just another note, even though we can create multiple groups, one user can have an entitlement or can be in multiple groups as well, all right? So it's not just, if I could select sales, means they only can be sales. They can be sales and purchases as well, not a problem. Then they have both the access rights, all right? So once we're done, we just press save and this particular user would have the sales access rights, okay? So this is actually how easy it is to replicate access right for different users, all right? So we just come in here, edit it, and then we press plus, and then we can say sales. Okay, done, save. So it's as simple as that, all right? So that's all for today's guide. Do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new guides weekly. Thank you.